And on my right, I have with me Brian Gracely, who is going to give us a quick demo of Green Plum Chorus. Great. Hey, Jeremy. How hey, are you? Brian, how's it going? I'm good. How are we doing on the screen here? Okay. There we go. Well, wait a minute. This um, this looks nothing like Facebook. No, this is uh, this is not Facebook. So, you know, as we learned this week, uh, the world is finally realizing that flash storage is really important uh, in order to drive your business. Now, in this demonstration, uh, Great Clips' biggest competitor, Great Snips, came to us and they said, Great you know, snips. we can't we can't let them get ahead of us, right? And so they're one of our early customers using Project X Extreme IO. And as you can see from this, uh, their business is growing very, very quickly. Uh, you know, as you were saying, people want to upload their pictures. They want to talk about their haircuts in this recession-proof business. Transactions coming from all over the planet. Exactly. See, we've got like 400,000 right. IOPS Yeah, going exactly, 400,000 IOPS. And we're seeing tremendous amounts of deduplication of that in real time. So we've got huge data sets. Uh, huge amounts of information that we can consolidate uh, into you know, a single rack, two racks, and be able to do that incredibly cost effectively all in real time. Okay, and so we've got the right infrastructure. Yep, absolutely. All right. And then, and so this I recognize. This right. Must so be this is the chorus. this is the Facebook uh, interface that you're used to. Now the difference is, uh, you know, we've got here on this part of the screen, we've got where our conversations are happening. But over here, like you talked about, this is all built around data, right? So Facebook, we're going to collaborate around things that cost us money, our kids, our hobbies, and things like that. In this case, we're going to collaborate around things that make us money or save us money. So whether we're talking about Oracle, uh, you know, applications and data sets. And again, we can drill right down into these just like we typically would in any Oracle environment. We want to drill all the way down to this. We want to be able to create charts out of it. But more importantly, throughout this, this drilling down into the data, we can see over here, we've got social conversations happening. So these aren't just data scientists having these conversations. These are product managers. These are marketing managers. This is the CIO. This is the CEO. So, so you know, th this is the, obviously the data model, right. and then everyone who's on the data science team can chime in and say, hey, this is wrong, I like this, what about this column, I need one of these. Absolutely, absolutely. So now, let's take a look at this in more of what we think is, is kind of the way we work, right? Because big data is about data, but it's really about solving data business problems, right? So in this case, we've got one of our mo uh, marketing managers, Ellie, asking a really broad question. Are we ready for the next couple of quarters? And so wait a minute, we, we've got the marketing people talking on the same system as the technical people are on. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And, and so, and these guys are obviously right. going to talk a different language. Right? So she comes in, she asks a question, the data scientists, our business analysts come back and say, yes, we've run analytics, we've looked at this over the last couple of months, we can look at real-time data, and they can immediately come back in that same conversation, in this same system, and pop up and say, look, uh, these are the trends we're seeing. We're seeing in-store data. We can correlate that and map that against Twitter trends for things that you know are important about what's going to drive your fashion decisions. So, so the 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 uh, the cuts that that's cuts, our structure, cuts. that's our structured data. That's our records of how many uh, haircuts have taken place in the store, and then this is the unstructured data laid on top. Absolutely, and so we can see you know they need to be planning for the things that are going to be driving music around shows like The Voice. They're going to be looking at haircut styles like Princess Kate's wear. So those types of of things they can get immediately. Now. So we've got the right infrastructure in place. We've okay. got the right way to collaborate in place. But we've let's, determined our trends. Yeah, exactly. But let's look at how this is going to affect you as an end user, right? Because that's the most important piece. We want to be able to get okay. to what you're at. So we help them build an iPhone application. And we can see here, like you talked about, I can, uh, I can, handsome chap. That is a good looking man. Uh, so obviously, you can book this. It knows where you're located. It knows it's been about six weeks. It's probably time for that. Okay. And it gives you the option to not just do what Great Clips did, but it wants to take it a step further. And they, want, they said, what if you come into the store and you say, I need to change. I want to transform myself. And it gives you an option, because it's linked into the data that we're, we're doing behind the scenes, okay. as well as your social analytics. So uh, what do you want to do? You want to do this based on profiles or based on trends? Uh, we could go latest trends. All right, so let's look at the trends. Now, it knows. <laughs> it knows that you're a rising executive. That maybe that's the look for you. I think I, I could need a bit of dye on my hair for that. Yeah. Look. Well, yeah. maybe you've got bigger ambitions. The Romney. There you, there go. you go. Now, oh, the wait, wait a minute. I, there's a big wall. Yeah. There's a here. challenge here. Oh, yeah. Well, it knows that you're in California, and that might not be the right cut for you here in California. Right. Politically incorrect hair. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So it's a smart system. Ah. Now the key is, you know, let's let's think about what what might be even better for this type of event for you. There we go. The Ellison cut, okay, that's the one. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you know, being able to connect you, the customer, back through the back-end analytics system and doing that in real time is really, really powerful for great SNPs. Great, Brian, thanks a lot. You bet, Jeremy. Great Thank luck you. with the business. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so what did you just see? You, you saw certainly the Extreme IO Project X infrastructure, number one. Number two, the collaborative environment for the data science team. How can we get 
the DBAs, the data scientists, the marketing people, the business people on the same page so that they can rapidly collaborate and iterate on data sets. That's how we get, uh, we get the business uh, to move much more quickly. Once we've correlated the structured and unstructured data, we can make a set of recommendation which is going to enhance the business opportunity, in this case, for great SNPs. Okay, so wrapping up here, wh what did you hear? First of all, goal number one, and, and you guys see this every day, we want to continue to drive down operational cost. We believe in a world where you've got pools of storage and server of network that's virtualized. It can run your database applications, absolutely, but it can run any kind of application. And as you've, you've seen throughout a number of the talk tracks uh, during the session, the real magic here is in the software. We believe in industry standard, often at times commodity components that are orchestrated and managed by software. That is the vision of the software defined data center. Also, we believe that the cost savings that we realize aren't necessarily going to be taken to the bottom line. I think what is exciting for IT is uh, it's moving into an era where it can truly deliver differentiation and value for the business once again. I feel like we've been through a decade where we've standardized and consolidated and tried to smash down cost. There is a real opportunity for IT to play a leading role with the business, and it all revolves around big data. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where you'll find EMC, at the intersection of cloud computing and big data. Thank you very much.